This tutorial is about designing a cat in a revolt. In the previous exercise with the parabolic wall, we didn't consider the fact that the length of the single elements actually depends on their angle of inclination. So an element in the top part is actually shorter and lighter than an element in the bottom part. Now we have to measure all the elements and calculate the point loads individually. At first I am going to measure the elements and write down their length in centimeters. These measures in centimeters will be now multiplied by 200, which is the scale, then divided by 100, which is the conversion from centimeters to meters, and then multiplied by 2.4, which is the amount of kilonewtons per one meter. In order to simplify this, we will just multiply each number by 4.8. Every point load is made out of two halves of the two adjacent elements. So for example, this one is made out of the line from here to here and the line from here to there. Because of that, we will always take an average of the two adjacent values. So for example, this one and this one and multiply it by 4.8. The average of 1.4 plus 2.0 times 4.8. 8.16 kilonewtons. Now that we have all the point loads, we can transfer them to the other sheet. Now label the spaces as usual in the clockwise direction. The inside of the Caton Revolt is O. Take a vertical line, transfer it over to the Forms diagram and draw the load line. Begin with point A and draw in all the point loads according to the previous calculation. The scale in this Forms diagram is 5 kN for 1 cm, so I'm just gonna divide all the values through 5. Now randomly choose a point on the left side of the loading line. This point will be O trial. Connect the O trial point with all the points on the loading line. Transfer all the lines from the force diagram into the form diagram and draw the trial force polygon. Draw the closing line. as well as the both tangent lines. Now transfer the closing line as well as the both tangent lines back into the force diagram so that all three of these lines go through the point O trial. The point where the closing line crosses the load line is called P. The points where the two tangent lines cross with the load line are called R and S. Now draw the real closing line in the form diagram. Draw the both tangent lines. Transfer the real closing line so that it goes through point P. Transfer the real left tangent line so that it goes through point R. And transfer the right tangent line so that it goes through point S. Where the three lines meet is the real point O. Now I will erase all the lines from the trial force polygon just for clarity and highlight only the lines that we need. Now again connect all the points on the loading line with the real point O. The last step is to transfer these lines into the form diagram like in the exercise with the parabola. There is however one significant difference 
that the first line is not going to be the tangent line Now you are done. Thank you for watching.